Hi there, I'm Robert Simlink, Executive Chef with Elder Sham, and today we're going to show you how to boil out one of the Elder Sham fryers. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that our fryer is cool and we've got all the oil drained out of it. You may also want some eye protection and hand protection because the boil out chemical is caustic. Alright, the first thing that we want to do is access our control panel. So we're going to first check to make sure that we have removed our filtering. I'm just set that off to the side. And then I also have to make sure that the drain is closed. So now we have to fill up our fry pot with cold water. Just going to pour that right into the pot. May take a couple of buckets. We want to ensure that we've covered the secondary heat exchangers with enough water. With the boil out powder, you're going to want to follow the recommendations that are on the box, and that will probably be between two and four cups of powder for a large format fryer. The smaller fryer will take a little bit less. And you'll pour this right into the water before you turn the unit on. And we also want to take our brush and stir it around to dissolve the powder. All right, now we're going to turn the main power breaker on. And you may also have to push the high limit reset switch. Now to start the boil out process, we actually have to, from the off position, push the chef key and hold it in approximately five seconds. And we've got boil that comes out on the display here. We'll push the right arrow and it's asking us if we're ready. We'll push the right arrow again and we'll actually start the process. The fry pot is going to heat up and then we're going to let it stay at temperature for 10 minutes. Now that we've been in boil out mode for 10 minutes, the, the timer went off and we went into off mode. So I'm gonna take my scrub brush now and be able to clean all the surfaces of the fryer, ensuring that all crumbs or fried on particles will be removed. Now we need to drain the water that's in the tank out. So we're going to open up our drain valve here. Open it slowly in the beginning so that you don't have any splashing. And we'll drain all the water out of the fry pot. After the water's all out of the fry pot, we need to rinse the pot with some fresh water. Pour it across all surfaces, ensuring that all the cleaner and oil has left the frying pot. Now that we've drained all the water in out of the fry pot into our tank down here, this tank needs to be pulled out and the water disposed. Before adding the oil, we want to make sure that all the surfaces are dry inside the fry pot. Most of them will dry just from the residual heat after the boil out, but if there's any wet surfaces, just take a paper towel and get the moisture off of the tank. Before filling the pot with oil, make sure that you close the drain because otherwise all your oil will end up on the floor and you'll probably only ever do that once. All right, we're just finishing topping off the tank. We want to fill it up to that little line on the side there. If you follow these oil out procedures every single time you change your oil, you're going to ensure that you've gotten rid of all contaminants and food particles inside your frying tank. Plus, now you're going to have fresh clean oil to start off with, giving you better tasting food and extending your oil life.